just read today that Urbite has successfully extracted the first commercial samples of heavy rare earth oxides from Grand Valley. Yes, it's absolutely right. We have uh, been extracting uh, heavy rare earths from uh, various type of uh, products recently, and uh, and but uh, mostly aluminum-based ores. But uh, the rare earths are coming out as a byproduct, which makes us, by definition, the extremely low-cost producer. Uh, some might even say the no-cost producer of heavy rare earths on the planet. In a recent news, Orbit released that it has developed a new technology that can treat red mud, the waste product of the traditional buyer process for aluminium production. How can Orbit take profit from that? Well, we have uh, we have essentially one big uh, technology basis, or the, the basic technology for the company has been has been used for different types of things. Uh, extracting rare earths is one of them. We extract rare earths from uh, uh, aluminous ore. But another type of aluminous ore is the red mud. Uh, most of the of the Bayer process do not uh, do not uh, extract all the the alumina from their matter of fact, most of them are essentially at fifty percent in terms of extraction rate. And so when they extract the material, the, uh, there's about 50% that is left of alumina. So that provides us with a 25% content ore, which is the red mud. This material can be the host of different types of product. We can extract gallium, uh, certainly the alumina, a lot of iron, uh, silicon, which can be made into pure silicon to make uh, optical materials and other types of application. Uh, and we have, uh, and, and, or silicon, even the, 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 the fracking sand silicon also is part of that. And then we can also extract all sorts of different types of material like the rare earths, uh, the rare metals like scandium, gallium, uh, and, uh, and, and zirconium and, and whatever. And are any companies now interested in Orbite's technology? We've received quite a few requests for, for that technology, uh, yes. Uh, I, I, would, I would express uh, that this has been interesting, quite a lot of uh, aluminum company and alumina based company because essentially most of the uh, Bayer plants have ponds, ponds of red mud besides their plant. These ponds are regulated by the environmental agencies of each of the countries. Now the, uh, what, uh, what these people do is essentially they set up a maximum quantity of red mud that a, that a, that a facility can hold. And many of the plants are at the limit, the top limit of their ponds. That is very true in Germany, extremely true in Germany. That is also true in, in Australia, in Canada, in very different places around the world. So these become now the constraint for the further use of the Bayer process. We can come in, help them expunge that problem, remove the problem, extract it, and have essentially a, a positive cash flow from the remediation process, uh, at the same time generate uh, wealth for these, for these corporations. So they're extending the life of their barrier and extending the life of their, uh, of their facility. And what is the actual stage in the construction of Orbit's high purity aluminium plant in Kapchat? Yes, we have the next stage for us is to is for Orbit to uh, get the first unit. We have been doing all tests at large scale, at commercial scale, with the pilot. We're turning this pilot into a high purity aluminum plant, and this high purity alumina is going to be sold mostly for the LED light business. As you know, the LED light is replacing all the other forms of lighting in the world, and by law. And so we're, we're going to be providing all the substrate, which is the aluminum oxide substrate, which in the end is a sapphire substrate that holds all the LED lights. So we are going after this market. We should be in production uh, first quarter of next year. And right now we're, we're essentially taking orders with, uh, re with regards to red mud remediation activity. And what are the production rates or by expects from the own deposit? From our own deposit, we will be extracting in large quantity smelter-grade alumina in 2014 and in 2013 from our deposit, uh, the high purity alumina. So in 2013, beginning of the year, we're going to be uh, producing our first revenue in terms of our own deposit. 
but it's probable we, we will have been working with somebody ahead of that in terms of red mud and other types of remediation problems. Yes, but what are the production rates? The production rate for the high purity alumina yes. is going to be one to three tons a day. One, uh, one to three tons a day, but the material, the high purity alumina is a 4.9 to 5.9 material, so it's extremely pure. And that 4.9 to 5.9 is worth between 50 and 150 dollars approximately, depending on the purity of the material, uh, a kilogram. While the smelter grade alumina is worth about $300 a ton. So there's a factor of 1,000 between those two numbers. And that facility will be up and going in the, in the 2014 timeframe. So Bro Valley hosts over 1 billion tons of aluminous clay. So what is the life of the mine? Uh, life of mine is, is, is very long. We are getting a permit for 25 years, but there, there will be a lot more material left into the ground. Uh, we have uh, essentially uh, uh, added claims for about 600 square kilometers. Uh, a 25-year life for a mine is a quarter of a kilometer square. So there is a very big factor between what we expect to complete in terms of geology and what we have already and so it, it to a large extent uh, if we have only one plant it would be uh, extremely long like infinite time but we expect to build 10 of those plants in Quebec in order to provide 50 percent of the requirement of the province in, in Illumina and as you know Quebec is the third largest uh, area in the world of production of aluminum in the world so we're second to China and Russia uh, or third to China and Russia and, and thus it requires a lot of material but there's been a lot of interest from Asia and the Middle East to be able to uh, to transfer our alumina to in terms of production for aluminum. You said you expect a cash flow soon? So we expect yeah, production. cash flow should be coming out for ne next year. So is there any further financing required? Well, I, I don't need to uh, at this point because we have all the cash required to do the first unit, the HPA unit, which is at extremely high uh, margin rate, a gross margin. Uh, and so that facility will generate the cash for the SGA facility with the partners like Roussel and Nalco, which have been uh, partnering us, with us at this point. <laughs>